in this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be one of the best little horizontal passing concepts in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that today we're going to be spending some time in the New England Patriots playbook. We'll be talking about the trips tight end formation. Now, if you want to learn more about this, I've got a full ebook on this. You can get all of my ebooks by joining the Patreon uh, for just $10 a month. You're going to unlock all of them. I've got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks available. I did a video on this the other day, kind of talking a little bit uh, just about the, the core concept of what I was trying to get across. But what I was really trying to hit on with this is that this concept can be built around. So I wanted to give you a route con combination in this video that you can really utilize. And again, this is something that is a horizontal concept, meaning we're gonna try to stretch the field or attack underneath um, and, and, and really be able to kind of stretch that defense. So let's just dive into this video. Like I said, if you wanna learn everything that I do from trips tight in, or if you just wanna get better, I've got 14 offensive and defex, defensive eBooks available at my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description if you wanna sign up for that. Like I said, it's just $10 a month. Um, you could do this out of any play as well. If you don't have tight end apprentice, then you could do this out of Pat's YN. It'll give you the same basic kind of route. Um, but I like to do this out of PA County Grove. But like I said, you can do that out of almost anything. Now, from a setup perspective, it's really, really simple. So we're just going to start out with like just a basic kind of cover three here. And what we're going to do is we're going to post our tight end. We're going to wheel our running back. And then we're going to flat both of our slots. So you see how we flatted both these guys right here. And then what I like to do is I like to actually drag the outside receiver. So you see this is kind of what it looks like. And then we're just going to motion this flat to the to the um, the backside. And what we're going to have here is if they play zone, you're basically going to, I mean, pretty much anything they do defensively, they're going to have to go guard this running back. I'm going to show you the only defense that I know that stops this um, is a cover two. And they have to shade down out of a cover two. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is a shaded down cover two. I just want you to watch this. You'll see that even the vertical hook out of that, because of that tight end post, oftentimes will get pulled back. So they're going to have to put those vert hooks on like five. And they're still going to have, in my opinion, some issues with this. Like if they baseline, they get underneath it, you know, really try to really try to get underneath this, right? And I'm going to actually throw a throw a hook curl over there and then we'll man up the tight end just to try to kind of really get everything underneath here. But what I want to show is again, this wheel. And what this is going to do is it's going to force them to have to user the wheel route, right? Well, that's going to then obviously open up some other stuff here again. There you see how open that running back wheel is one. Of the, I mean, this is probably arguably a top two to three route in the game this year. And I did a video on that yesterday. So we can build around this. And what you're often going to see in Madden is something like this cover three. So this is a cover three cloud. And we're going to put both of our linebackers here in flats. And I'm actually going to take this guy. This is kind of imitate this as our user. And we're actually going to put him in man coverage on the running back. So now you kind of get this kind of cover three cloud uh, is, you know, kind of style here. And, and more than likely, you're going to get something like that on the back side of this. Well, I want you to notice what happens with the tight end. So if they run to the running back out of the middle of the field, it's very likely that your tight end is going to be open right in that little pocket right there, as you can see. If the tight end gets cross man, which can happen, so let's say they do kind of a kind of a serious cross man. So they're going to man this guy up on the tight end. This guy's in man coverage on the running back, and they still have kind of a basic cover three shell. That's where these little flat routes are really going to be helpful, and this backside drag will really help to kind of just, again, so I can still hit that wheel route right there, but notice how open the underneath middle of the field is, and I can hit my tight end, or my uh, outside receiver kind of coming underneath everything. Now this concept does not just work against cover three, it actually works against everything. Works against man, works against zone, it's a very, very good concept. This is a man play that I'm about to show you. Against man, what you want to do with this is you want to hit your running back, basically you want to low pass it, when he cuts right there and you want to click on and as long as you there I got a little bit of a wonky animation as long as you lowball it and you kind of cut it off you should be fine against main coverage right there I think my low ball didn't register so just make sure you low ball and you pass lead it inside right on the cut here's a here will be a probably a better example just kind of low ball eh. 
if you have backfield master, it'll be a lot better too. Uh, but you just kind of lowball that when he gets inside leverage. I'll show it one more time. We are getting kind of bagged at a dollar just because you have a little bit better coverage out of these DBs here. Obviously, you're trying to post open your drags open. So it really, like right in there. There we go. That's kind of what I was trying to show. So kind of once he's got that, that corner uh, kind of turned to the outside like that, that's where you would want to go ahead and and hit this wheel. I'll show it to you here again. Low ball like that. See how I cut it off. And you see the route combo. Okay. So again, that works well against man. That's the running back route. I'm going to show you this tight end route. Uh, I really, really like the tight end route against man. Uh, I think it's probably one of the better man beaters in this game. You'll see here, just pass it inside. You don't have to have that great of a tight end to get open, but he just consistently gets open. Now, another way that you can kind of run the same concept, especially if you have Hot Run Master, if you don't have Hot Run Master, you could do this out of the play uh, PA slot corner. We're going to wheel the running back. We're going to drag the tight end. We're going to flat the inside slot, and we're going to curl the outside receiver. So you see this is kind of what it looks like here. Now, the reason I like this setup right here is because now the tight end is not the guy on the post route, so they can't cross man him. So you see just like that, and now you get this backside post coming from the triangle receiver. Notice how the wheel will kind of clear out everything for you and make this a possibility. So again, this is just another way that we're stretching them. It's literally the almost exact same concept. It's just very, very slightly different, and you still have this threat of this wheel route to the back, which is one of the better routes. Like I said, you want to low ball that, pass lead that inside. But now let's say, for example, you're getting – Something like this man, and you know maybe they're dropping like a cloud, and they're dropping like a, a vert hook here, um, and then they've kind of got man coverage trying to kind of protect everything else, right? So it looks, you know, looks something like this. Okay, so what we were going to do here is we're going to post, and like I said, we're going to drag, and then of course wheel. Well, now the cross man of the tight end or some of the zone help they have over there. Is really not going to be helpful to him. We just want to try to hit that guy right in that little pocket. Got a little wonky zone there from 41. But the bottom line is, you know, you have a concept that you can kind of work on. So you can kind of mix and match these, right? So, like, if you wanted to, you could post the slot. And then if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and just do something like this. I mean, this is a very simple concept. It's literally exactly the same. The major difference is we don't have anything coming back across their face. Now they're going to have to be a little bit more mindful of the levels concept that we do have on the back side of this that could be very effective as well. So this is just a way, um, if you wanted to, you could also run a slant post concept, something like this right here. One of the better route combos in the game, right? You could do something like this. I mean, there's just so much you could do with this. If you can really master those wheels, there I threw it just a split second too late, but it pretty much beats every coverage. And then, you know, you could even do something like this, right, where we do that drag, we do a post, you know, maybe something like this, maybe a seam streak, and then we do a little out. You know, these are all little things that you could do uh, from this. So you do something like this and, you know, kind of clear out some space. And I'm kind of just spitballing here, but the bottom line is you can add this wheel concept to pretty much anything, any offense, but it is really, really good. And this is what makes it so special from trips because we have this tight end in the middle of the field that we could just put on a post or just have that a deep in route that kind of pull those yellows back. And then as you can see, it opens that pocket up for us really easily. So I uh, just wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about this concept. I think it's really, really hard to stop this. And I think if you really want to master throwing this, you got to kind of commit to it. But once you learn how to throw it, it can make you really hard to stop on offense. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about this offense or if you want to get better, Join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. You can join the Patreon for just $10. Uh, for just $10 a month, you're going to unlock everything. Every ebook that we have, every ebook, every new ebook, as soon as we launch it, you'll have access to it. Literally gets you access to everything for just one price at $10 a month. So thanks for watching. If you're still watching, you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video. And in there, there is a link that will take you over to the Patreon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.